time dilemma requires quite a lot of concentration and one of the things that can happen when we're concentrating hard is that our body kind of gets stuck a little bit. We're so focused on what's happening over on the instrument that we sort of forget everything else below our neck and our arm. So one of the things that we like to do pretty early on is remind our body that it can still move and be free. And that relaxation is going to feed back up into everything that you do with your arms. So as we uh, enter into this kind of whole body idea, the first thing that we're going to do is simply explore how to shift our weight. So I'm shifting onto my right foot, I'm shifting onto my left foot, maybe even allowing that other foot to lift its heel slightly off of the floor. And you can see there's a pretty big range of motion with my body. I'm allowing my head to maybe go all the way that other direction. We're just going to practice sort of flowing from side to side. Imagine that you're a willow tree bending in the breeze, allowing your spine to feel flexible and there's sort of like a snake-like motion with your spine. So practice that to start with, just to kind of loosen up your spine. And then when you're ready, what you're gonna do is you're going to bring the violin into that. Now, you don't wanna synchronize your bowing to that very slow movement, because that's actually gonna make your bow arm move so slow that it's going to kind of like bring things to a grinding halt. We want the bow arm to be moving pretty quick so your bow arm's kind of moving at a nice bow arm speed and your body is moving at a nice body speed. So here's what that's going to look like. This is called a floating scale. We're playing in quads. That means groups of four. 